Yo guys, I'm HP, this is Mrs. Blue and welcome to this new series here on the YouTube channel, it's called Guitar Sound Lab. We're gonna go step by step through all the points which I think is important to know when you want to create your perfect guitar sound. And today we're gonna talk about pure sound, so what you can take out of your guitar, just the amplifier, your guitar and that's it. And yeah. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button and also join the HP Crazy Guitar Academy for more information or, or more stuff. As already said, it's going to be step by step. Um, pure sound is... <coughs> I'm using here a Black Star, a 200 box Black Star tube head. It's only 20 watt with a one speaker <coughs> simulation. That's enough to start because we're just, just going to focus now on two sounds are like a slightly <coughs> slightly crunched <coughs> crunched uh, tube sound and second we're gonna also put in on more gain and then we're gonna see what we do with the pickups what with the playing technique and also with the volume uh, with the volume what you can get out of your sound and also the pickup settings are really important what you want to do and how are things done to create a certain sound? Because I've seen many, many students, for instance, they always use um, the middle on any type of guitar. They, they mostly use both pickups at the same time, which I found, uh, well, if you love the sound, <coughs> it's okay, but it's, you know, I see the neck pickup and the bridge pickup as the two worlds we want to embrace in guitar, electric guitar playing. Each has its benefits or its disadvantage, and when you select both pickups, um, you're you know you don't know what you are. Are you either going for this or for that? So that's a setting which I don't personally don't recommend so much. Even a lot of students are doing that, and as a why you're doing that, they say I don't know. And then when we check it out, then um, they start to think. Say second thing about what to do with guitar sound. So now let's get started. As I already said, um, I have now a slightly crunched sound. <coughs> and first we're gonna check out the sound on the neck pickup with a humbucker. <coughs> what is really important when you use t uh, tube sounds is the dynamic of the sound. Really check out how the sound reacts on that sp specific pickup setting. <coughs> Just put down the volume a little bit, or even a little bit more. Now it sounds nearly cl clean. Then we go to C. Shape the sound. Listen how your guitar reacts to the way you attack the strings. Even with this uh, volume settings, when you attack harder, it starts to get this slightly crunch. And if you put the volume up, as a max and with this alone you can create a really cool vibe you know to take it back in track here with E minor we start E minor to C now we go up with the volume now it starts to vibe more now you more Go back with the volume. Really check out how your pickup sounds and how it reacts to the, the way you attack the strings and how you only with, you know, you can do really cool stuff with simple chords just by understanding how your guitar, your amplifier reacts to the way you attack strings and which pickup settings you have chosen. Now I've chosen the the humbucker, let's now try the single coil. <coughs> Other sound, that one doesn't bite so much, has a more crispy and more clean sound. <coughs> let's see that. <coughs> Put the volume up. 
This one doesn't distort so much. But it reacts differently to the way when you attack harder. Then you get more overtones in the sound. These are all things which you can check out with your equipment and your guitar. Either you select humbucker setting or single coil setting, or if you have a guitar just with one or each other, just check it out. Okay. Now let's let's do the bridge pickup. Same thing. That one doesn't really work so well uh, to make chords. You know, that's more for power chords. <laughs> Let's check it out. <coughs> it sounds okay, but it has this hardness in the sound. But if you go to max volume, it bites, of course, more on the distorted setting. As has a more rock sound than when we compare it to the neck pickup. Bridge pickup bites more. Um, uh, by the way, there's absolutely no effects on this sound. That's, is, that's we're just checking on the pure sound because when you put on effects, you know, then uh, that just doubles up what you're doing now. This is the really basic sound creation, what we're talking about. It is, that's why this is so important. Even if you think it's going too much in de into details, well, it's not. <laughs> it's because that's the way the sound is created and the way you work with your equipment. Either you have an expensive equipment or cheap equipment, it's all the same. You need to check out how does it react to your playing technique. <laughs> also here, if you have a, a single coil on the bridge pickup, see how it reacts. See, this one doesn't bite so much as the humbucker. Single coil has other advantage, advantages. I mean, if you play something like, I don't know, you know, some funky stuff, then the single coil might be cooler. <laughs> Single coil on the neck pickup. Single coil on the bridge pickup. Humbucker on the neck pickup. And humbucker on the bridge pickup. Sounds completely different, okay? Now when it comes to soloing, same thing again. Check it out, how it reacts. reacts. I mean, one basic rule is if you play low notes, you preferably play on bridge pickup. Why? Because the sound is more crisp and more defined. As an example, if I go to the neck pickup, it depends on what you want to do and what you want to achieve with the sound, but that's like one of the main reasons. If you if you don't have too much distortion, then probably it's still cool to play on the neck pickup in, in low position. Okay, and if you go in high positions, either if you don't have so much distortion, then the neck pickup has more fatness. Then the bridge pickup. It really depends um, what you want to do and what you want to achieve. But um, these are the main differences. And if you do with single coils, it's the same effect, just more crispy. Neck pickup. Single coil bridge pickup. Really check out how the sound reacts together with your playing technique to get a proper setting. And you know, really experience plays the switch between pickups when it do certain things. I'm gonna show you. Now let's do some chords and then some soloing with this sound setting. And afterwards, we're gonna go to a high gain setting and check out the possibilities there. There, they're not so uh, diverse as here, but still, 
but still there are a few things to know. But let's first check this out. Now. So we start with chords. Maybe single chord. Now a distortion. Humbucker. And humbucker. Now we're going to high position for soloing. Pick up. Now we go in lower position. Bridge pick up. Now bridge pick up. Now, oh, so these are the possibilities which you can really check out and really check them out the way and really my recommendation is don't because you maybe out of laziness don't just switch on both pickups this you know it's like the two worlds together so you don't uh, you don't have to decide and you have like both but still you can be more expressive when you really check out the different possibilities now let's go to the high gain setting as you can hear, there's now more noise on the sound. Still, it's just a tube amplifier, no effects at all. Just a head with a speaker simulation tube, 20 watt on full maximum gain. So what is obvious when you go to single note, uh, single coils, you have this noise. That's obvious. Um, <coughs> the uh, neck pickup single note um, work pretty well on both settings uh, the, w the one on the neck pickup single coils has more bassy stuff <laughs> and you can eat more play chords but not necessarily and um, the neck the bridge pickup <laughs> uh, has bites a little bit more as you can hear but it's more transparent in the chord itself if you go now to humbucker well the noise is gone and it bites more but it's not so transparent inside when you play chords only if you play pure power chords then of course it bites more than a single no single chord Neck pickup uh, power chords. Well, I don't really recommend that, but if you like it, you re really need to check it out if you like it. But it can work with chords when you put the volume a little bit on. It, then it has a kind of a transparency which works with chords. Okay, so let's give a little shot now here with this backing track again. It's not really so defined, so probably go direct, go direct to power chords. Yeah. So there are not so many options in a high gain setting because it's basically you play a lot of power chords and what is <coughs> more um, variable you select uh, uh, less distortion. But now let's say uh, check out lead guitar. Um, as I said when you play in lower positions then you select uh, the bridge pickup and I strongly recommend humbucker I mean, the, some guys play with single single coils, but it's well, it's a matter of taste, you know. <laughs> For me, it has a kind of a cheesy thing, but if you like that, some be my guest. And if you have a strat, you know, with the that one is really a chainsaw thing. It's like, <laughs> but you know, some really great solos have been done with um, 
with the Stratocaster uh, single coil in the bridge pickup position. But otherwise, I recommend humbucker um, on the bridge pickup, uh, especially in the low position. When you pel play palm mute, it's down. Then you have the perfect sound, which is needed when you go to the neck pickup. That's too, you know. Well, you can do it, but it's not really so much defined, and the pinch harmonics don't really develop nicely. Well, you get them out, but it somehow sounds too much compressed. You can do an, the entire solo on the bridge pickup if you like. You can do that, that's cool if you love that sound. Some guys play all, anything just on the on the bridge pickup, but what I sometimes do when I, when I have a really soft and warm l melodic lead sound in the high positions, then I use the, the neck pickup. You know, it's, it really sings nicely. You know, and you still can get the overtones. I mean, the, the big advantage of the bridge pickup is that you have more overtones in the sound. Listen to how it develops, how the overtone comes. See, uh, the, here we have a different overtone. And then here. And really check out stuff like this. That's the, the main thing. So then you can try backing track now I'm gonna bridge pick it yeah that's really personal taste um, with you, when you play with bridge pickup, you can really work more with harmonics, and with the neck pickup, it's more melodic. Yo, and I really strongly recommend uh, when you do all this stuff. It was a long speech now about a pure sound, but it's an important one because whatever you add in effects now will be added to what comes out from your guitar and your amplifier. You know, because that's the signal which goes into all effect calculations, whatever you do. So this is the most important thing when it comes to sound. If you cannot control your sound um, like this without any effects, then you will always be, let's say, a slave to all these effects which you add. You know, and when you <coughs> the big difference between uh, cheap and uh, expensive equipment which you buy, you know, like multi-effect processors or any kind of um, guitar sound processors is the cheap ones. They add a lot of effects on the sound. Why? Because that's that covers up that the signal, the raw, sig the raw signal which we're creating here is um, not so good as on the expensive equipment. What is the big difference between cheap and expensive equipment? And I really, by, I really uh, picked now the the um, two hundred bucks uh <laughs> black star head here, but it has it has a, a real tube in it, and the cheaper equipment doesn't have so much dynamic range. You know, if you have all the stuff which I, which I now showed. Um, they can be exaggerated or just limited and with mostly with cheap equipment uh, you know you have a range dynamic range maybe like this and with exp expensive one maybe like this and that doesn't mean you cannot play with the cheaper one but you need to check out your own equipment and really check out the dynamic range which i just explained now in this long speech about pure sound <coughs> And then you start working with that. When you change the guitar or your, your equipment, you have to do the same thing again to get to know how your guitar reacts to specific playing techniques 
Um, also, specific loudness levels is a, a bit different. Can uh, have a quite an effect on the development of your sound in the room, and you really need to check that stuff out and do a lot of testing. I always do a lot of testing till I'm happy with my sound, and the longer I play, the more I reduce effects. <laughs> you know, you always tend to add a lot of effects, which covers up that you cannot really control the pure sound or the raw sound which comes out of your guitar and your one amplifier, or um, which creates the the signal which now goes through all the effect chains. Good. I hope this thing here was helpful for you guys. This was now the first of of uh, a few tu um, tutorials up to come uh, here with the Guitar Sound Lab, and the each tutorial will be the the follow up of what we were talking about before. So if you did this one, you wait for the next one. You just check out this stuff, then you wait for the ne next time. We will probably talk about reverb, different types of reverbs, how they react. And uh, then specific delays is very important. Why is very important. Compression, you know, all that stuff. Just what one step by step. But the first step is that you can control your raw signal and the pure to really work on the pure sound with your equipment. And that's it. I'm going to make uh, this backing track available if you want to practice a little bit the stuff which I showed. It's going to be available in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. Uh, where the tutorials I just upload it there for premium members, but also please join my academy just to be part of the guitar community, the little one which we are creating. Yo, bye guys. <laughs>